Today's topic deals with bucking in a laser. The term bucking in a laser deals with adjusting the laser beam or point or line so that it's running parallel to the surface being measured. This alignment can be done when checking straightness or can be done when checking flatness. And I'll demonstrate that to you using the micro gauge laser products. Okay, so the products we'll be using today to demonstrate the bucking in process are the micro gauge 2D laser, the four axis precision mount, and then we have our 2D receiver set up on our standard mounting block, which I'll move along this surface here uh, to check. I'll be, be able to check the straightness of this rail and also the flatness of this plate. That is the benefit of the 2D system, allows me to check both axes at the same time. Now to help make this process easier, we've established a Excel spreadsheet that allows me to enter values I've been recording and then that will give me an adjustment to make um, to establish the straight line and I'll demonstrate that later on in the process. And then finally over on this side we have the 2D display which shows the readings in both the vertical and horizontal axes along with our signal strength. To demonstrate the bucking in process today I'm going to use two points on my rail to make my measurements and these will be my calibration points the points that I'll use for bucking in the laser. So to begin the process, I've set my receiver up in my, my location number one, and I will now take readings on my display unit. As you can see, the readings are clearly displayed in real time on the display unit. I have a vertical reading of 0.1523 and a horizontal reading of plus 0 0.0120 with a strong, strong signal strength. So now I go ahead and enter my readings found at location one into the vertical reading and the horizontal reading. With this, I also include the distance from the face of the laser to the face of the receiver in inches, which I've listed and documented here at 16 inches. Now I will move my receiver back to location number two, which is in the back of my rail. And, and I will observe the readings now on my display unit. Again, the readings for location 2 are clearly displayed on my display unit. I have a vertical reading of positive 0.1661, horizontal reading of minus 0 0.0651, and again, a strong signal strength. So not, now I'll go ahead and enter these readings into location number 2 on my Excel spreadsheet. Now back to our spreadsheet, in location number two, I've gone ahead and entered my vertical and horizontal reading that's shown on my display unit. Again, with a distance in inches of the laser face to the receiver face, which in this case is approximately 41 inches. The result of this now will be our bucking in target values of positive 0.1431 and positive 0.0612 horizontal. And now I can adjust my four axis mount and my laser beam so that these numbers are displayed on the display unit from either one of the receiver locations. Now that I have my target values, I can go ahead and adjust my four axis mount using the pitch control and the yaw control to establish my vertical and horizontal position. I'm using my location number two as my calibration point or to establish these target values. So I know that my vertical target was 0.1431 which I will now adjust my pitch control until I, until I achieve that result on my vertical reading. So that's 0 0.1431. So I've stopped here at approximately 0 0.1435, 1 point, 1 point, 0 0.1436, which is very close to within a few tenths of my target value. Now my horizontal value is 0 0.0612. I will go ahead and adjust my yaw control until I achieve that target. Okay, now I have both my vertical and horizontal readings very close to my target values on position number two. I have 0.1428 on vertical and 0 0.0614 on the horizontal. Now if I move my target from location two back to location one, I should be very close to these readings.
Okay, and now we have vertical 0.1424 and horizontal of plus 0.0711. Very close to having this calibrated or bucked into my final numbers. I can now go back and enter these values again into the spreadsheet and fine tune my adjustments one more time to, to get the accuracy that I require. Also with this system in the four axis mount, I can also use the, the vertical and the horizontal controls to dial these numbers into zero as well. And once I've done that, I should have roughly zero, zero in location one and zero, zero in location two. After that is done, I've bucked in my laser, and then I can go ahead and check measurements along this surface. I can check the rail for straightness and the bed or the plate for flatness as well at the same time. So that again is the basics for bucking in a laser. I've established a straight line between two points along a surface, and I've adjusted my laser beam so that it passes through those two locations at the same spot, both vertically and horizontally.